How are you doing today? Good. I like your bookshelf. Uh, thank you. It's a distraction. No, no. I'm focused on you, but I'm also seeing the bookshelf and I'm proving, approving. I say uh, thanks. Um, I want to start with, uh, uh, I really laughed a lot. And so I just want to say thank you. Thank you for making me laugh. Oh, good. good. You're uh, welcome. Right. And that's it. That's all I have. Congrats. All right. See you later. Thanks. Um, Bye. No, so one of the interesting things about this film is that you started filming right as COVID was sort of happening. And then you took oh, yeah. a long break to come back to make the movie. What is that like making your first feature and in, in encountering this? Insane. Um, so I we started shooting the first two weeks in Puerto Rico for Mexico because the vacation takes place in Mexico and we wanted to get the most out of it. So we like, it was a crazy ambitious schedule and we thought the weather might not be good, but everything went our way. We were at, uh, it, it came off great. And then we were at the San Juan airport, literally high-fiving each other going, we did it. We got through the hard part. Let's go to Atlanta and finish it. It'll be so much easier from here on out. And we got a call saying, uh, there's a pandemic we're shutting down. And 20 hours later, I was sitting on that couch just going, what the hell just happened? And uh, and then we thought it was going to be for three weeks and it was like five months or something. And we resumed in Atlanta during the pandemic and we were kind of one of the first movies to come back. And their protocols, we just kind of had to figure it out as we went along. And so it was pretty crazy. Yeah, I can't even imagine. Um, one of the things the film does very well is it it's very funny, but it also has heart. Can mm -hmm. you sort of talk about finding that line in the editing room to make sure that these are likable characters while still doing some pretty crazy shit? That was very important to me. And, you know, all the actors we had were actors. I mean, I think Rel's performance, he has all this depth to it. And same with Yvonne and John and Meredith too there there was just a heart to it and sometimes people confuse heart with sentiment it's not sentimental i think but it, it has this like dimension to these characters and and in the end they're sort of all good vibes which i i felt like was really refreshing given the state of the world um in, in a way when i was reading it i was like bracing for this dark darkness to emerge and it doesn't but it's still crazy um but they're all people also, you never know when you're casting people how well the chemistry is going to be, but the four yeah. of them together are very good. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't believe it. it was like every day I was like, oh, my God, I'm so lucky, even um, despite okay. the pandemic. Um, one of the things uh, you obviously have a drug scene um, in the film, and I'm curious, what is it like as a filmmaker trying to figure out how do I want to shoot this that's going to be different than other things and sort of but also be familiar enough that people understand? Yeah, that was really tough. I think I watched every drug scene that had been in a comedy in the last 30 years. And I just chose to pick something that was a very specific style. And, you know, some of them would try to recreate exactly what the drug scene was, and some would turn it into a puppet show, or some people would be, you would be in the normal world and they would be acting crazy. So I just decided to just give it this very specific style. So at least you could be there with them for it. hundred percent. I'm always obsessed with the editing process because it's where it all comes together. Um, what did you, how did the ch film possibly get altered in the editing room? Were there any big changes? One of the greatest things to happen to this movie was I hired an editor named Evan Hinkey, and we were just, it was like we'd known each other all our lives and I didn't know him at all. And he made it so much better. We worked together. We just had the same view of how to do this. I don't even think we ever had a major disagreement. And we just were able to keep it moving. We had the same exact reactions to what, what, what I'd shot. And, uh, you know, that I feel just incredibly lucky to have come across someone that talented. Yeah, uh, you uh, you cut something good. Uh, I got a wrap. I'm just going to say congrats. Oh, I hope it's you. a huge hit for you guys. Thank uh, you. And thank you for your time. All right. Thank you.